Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Jewelry Pirate, this is Barbara. Um, I'm coming on today, as I promised, to give you some more uh, content and um, let you know what's going to be coming up. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is a little out of it today. I had my procedure done yesterday where I had my port removed. So, it was a little, it wasn't bad, but it was a little bit more than I expected. I'm very sore. And um, I brought it on with me. It was part of my life for the last two years. So I have a souvenir. Anyway, what I have here today was, um, I have a bag of gemstones. And um, this is about half of the bag. So I figured I'd share this with you as something quick um, that we could go through and you could see a few things and in the meantime you'll have a little bit of content and uh, what I have here are, are some very very nice pieces so I hope you enjoy them okay so our first piece which is this um, down to the pendant it's about 20 inches, I guess. It's got a toggle clasp. Um, all the bindings on here are brass. What is up here, I think, are different jump rings and they're in different color or a, different, or a chain that's a multitude of different colors. This appears to be a copper color, but I don't think it's copper. Um, this is a very, very nice dark um, variegated marble necklace and uh, let me show it up to you close so you can get an idea of how pretty the stones are on this. Let me see if I can move this a little bit better. I always have a hard time with the lighting. I want you to see the stones, how beautiful they are. And uh, here you can get an idea of the, 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 ch the chain. So it's 20 inches, not counting the pendant. Um, it's very, very well made. I think it is an artisan piece. Uh, I love the stones. Each one is individually different. Um, this is what it looks like laying down. So we have this piece um, that's available. I want to try to get um, more things up for you so that uh, you can see um, the variety of the things that I have coming. If there's anything in particular, I have pretty much any kind of jewelry, let me know and I can bring something out. I actually have um, a bunch of bone and horn. That I might open up a box of that. I just hate opening up more boxes since I have so much here already open. But anyway, okay. This is a very nice little um, Jasper stretch bracelet. And you can see the, um, the the variations of the stone here. Condition of this is excellent. The uh, stretch cord is new. If for proper taking care of, this will last a long time. And what I mean by that is not putting any perfume or lotions on your skin before putting this on. That'll help keep your elastic in good shape for uh, a long long time this is very very pretty um, you can say that see that and see how gorgeous the pattern is on this so this would fit probably a little bit bigger um, 
than a standard bracelet. It's it's it doesn't swim on me or anything, but it's comfortable. Okay. This was attached to this in a baggie, so I figured I'd just bring this in, even though this is not a gemstone piece. This is very pretty. This is a ball that has um, purple and blue stones. And um, it's got a, like a paper clip chain on it. Sort of at least. Let me see measurement wise. Eighteen inches. Um, there's no markings on it. Does have a lobster claw clasp. Um, I would say that this is from maybe the late '90s, early 2000s. It's very delicate, very pretty, and of all the jewelry that I've ever went through, I've actually never seen one made like this. So, like the purple follows around, the blue follows around, and it's got um, Savorsky crystals on each side of it. Very, very, very pretty piece. Chain is very, very, very thin. Let me get you a close up of the of the ball. It's really beautiful. I'm trying to get this video done. I have the visiting nurse service coming today. So that's why I'm making it a short one. Okay, our next one. This I love. This has some, this is sterling, um, your findings on this. These are pink pearl, they're real. These are faceted amazonite, and down at the bottom it has one of the prettiest dichroic glass pendants I think I've ever seen. Now I'm not sure if I ever showed this before. I have a feeling I doubt it because I thought this pendant was so beautiful that um, I had a look at it for a while. But I mean, it's a possibility. But the Amazonite is very, very nice. It's faceted. Um, lots of different colors of the blues in here. And um, when I first saw this, I wasn't sure if I liked this with this but the more I looked at it and the more I see it, it they both complement one another so this is a very pretty piece of jewelry let me give you a measurement remember I don't count the pendants and I don't carry I don't um Count the extender. This is 17 inches. So it's going to fall just below your collarbone. And this has some silver beading through it. So I would think since that this is all sterling, they would be sterling also. I know that this is not sterling. But very pretty. Okay, a couple more pieces to go through. This has got um, a screw clasp. And the reason why this has got a screw clasp is that this is an anklet. And by the way, this year, anklets are making a comeback. So um, think about putting the, adding them to your wardrobe, your jewelry wardrobe. This has real pearls and um, tiger eye chips. It's very, very pretty. And this is good that it has the, um, I don't believe you should put ever put um, 
a barrel clasp like this or the screw on clasp on bracelets it makes it just too hard to turn around and get them on and off your wrist but for anklets it's probably if if you're making the jewelry yourself it's probably one of the best ways to assure that you won't lose your anklet so in the quality of the chips here they're small but they're vibrant and they're very highly polished so we have that our next piece this is heavy I don't think the clasp on this is um, silver but it's got one of those great big lifesaver clasps and, and this is all hand knotted in between beautiful rose quartz ice cold heavy bracelet um, it's a lot pinker um, if you look at this which is pink it doesn't this is really pink so showing you this it almost looks like um, Oh, how can I explain it? It almost looks, looks yellow, but it isn't. It's a really pretty color pink. Um, I'd say this is a six and a half to seven. It's going to fit somebody comfortably with a smaller wrist. And like I said, it's all hand knotted in between very very pretty bracelet different shape beads the rounds and the big ovals okay now this here um, I have two different ones of this um, these are both new but I don't have the other one out here it's in I have a great big huge box of um, gemstones that I have to get to so I can start bringing them out a little bit at a time. Um, this is a long necklace. 12, 24. I would say it's just 26 inches long. It's older. It has an older barrel clasp on it. It's got beautiful, this is a really highly colored pink um, jasper. And um, it's, it's heavy, it's lovely, it's made well. The stones are gorgeous. There's a lot of different um, markings in the stones um, that are characteristic of, of the jasper. And uh, if you look at it close, in fact, you can even actually see a little bit of greens mixed in with some of these beads. This is really gorgeous. Again, this is very pink. And it looks almost like a bone white. And it's not. So we have this. This is a beautiful, beautiful piece. I kind of pulled out um, a few nice pieces. Now, I know I've showed this before. I think <laughs> and um, this is another really piece I don't think that this has um, a clasp uh, it's got to be another three inches 30 inch necklace this is also rose quartz these are ceramic beads with painted flowers on them um, very pretty different um, sizes in the rose quartz beads this is an absolutely beautiful necklace beautiful um, you know what happens with me is I find stuff that I really like and when I like sometimes I sort the jewelry and sometimes I don't and a lot of the reasons why I, I do sort things is that I don't like surprises when I'm showing the jewelry. I don't like when I get a great big knot when I'm showing the jewelry. And um, I sit there and I spend time and then come to find out that the thing is coming apart. So sometimes I do go through. I don't really um, 
spend a lot of time on each piece, but I'll find a piece that I really like and I just push it to the side and put it in a bag. And I remember this and this was one of the pieces that was like that. This has got some weight to it. It's very elegant, gorgeous, gorgeous summer piece of jewelry. And um, I could see this being worn with um, a long dress because this is a little bit on the longer side. Just pretty. Do you see? I don't know if you can see the beads or not. How beautiful these ceramic beads are. They're really pretty. So we have that. Now we got one more piece. And this is, um, I think it's citrine. But it also has a piece of bone with a face on it. Okay, it's, um, oh, let's see here. Let me see what I can see. It looks like um, um, Asian face. And uh, I am not sure what this is. It feels more, it's definitely not bone. I'm not sure if it's gemstone. It's definitely not glass. I would, if I had a guess, I would say it's some kind of gemstone, carved gemstone. This one, not counting that. We're talking 25 inches. Very pretty. It's got these really, really nice um, beads going in between. It has a toggle. This is definitely a different. I mean, this, I think... If you really wanted to, you could cut this off and put this on something else. Oh, um, another one of the things, I'm going to actually make a list that um, has become popular um, as far as trending. Um, they say that nice quality weather um, cording is much more preferred to putting your pendants on this year. More boho-y looking, um, more casual looking, and um, keep that in mind. If you go across, you find a nice pendant, instead of taking it and putting it on um, like a gold or a silver chain, try stringing it on, um, on a, a, a leather, wax cotton cord um different you know different things like that um much more um natural look so that's another thing like this like i said could come off it could be put onto a nice cord i do happen to like this particular piece on this necklace so anyway that's what we have we have that. We have this lovely piece. This is magnificent. Trying to get this is nice, this 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 anklet. So remember that, keep that in mind that your anklets are something that are coming back this year. Anyway, my visiting nurse is here, so I have to say goodbye, and um, I will talk to you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you guys for your continued support. Love all of you, and take care. Bye-bye now.